What's going on, guys? Welcome back for another Modern Cube Draft. I also, I, I'm not a huge fan of Limited that's not Cube. I agree with you there. Um, one of the things I am looking forward to is Dominaria, because it seems like it's going to be super sweet. It does look like a, a, it looks like you're not traditional Limited format. It doesn't look as straightforward as a set like Ixalan or even Amonkhet. Uh, pretty sure we want a Normal Coil Engine. Someone mentioned the Geist of Saint Draft here, but... Um, I feel like Warm Coil Engine is probably one of the safest picks you could make. I do like a Scalding Tarn, and I like a Murderous Cut. But if you guys ever cast the Warm Coil Engine, I guess Pack Rat is also an option. I do like Pack Rat a lot. Don't get me wrong. But, what are you going to do? Alpstrom, three months in a row. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. Batter Skull and Orzhov Signet. Ooh, I like the colorless train we got going on here. The problem with Batter Skull in this cube is that there's no Stoneforge Mystic. I think I, I like Signet over Batter Skull. Because I do want some early game. <laughs> take a braid so they can't kill your worm coil. I like it. Solid strategy. I can also take the wear tear when it comes back, and then we just then we just deny everyone uh, artifact destruction. I'm gonna go with the Orzhov signet. I feel like the odds of us being in white or or black are are pretty high. Yeah, we could have just taken taken Batter Skull and we can just play, uh, we'll just play Scars of Mirrored Unlimited. Look, now we can take Precursor Golem or Shrine of Loyal Legions and keep the uh, the Limited train rolling. Um, this pack is interesting. The card I like most is Electrolyze. This is definitely not a sugary sweet. This is a, a five calorie crystal light. Ironically, in a Coke Zero bottle. So... Trust me, the last time I had a drink that had sugar in it was uh, a good while. I like Oblivion Ring too, actually, especially because we have Orzhov Signet. I like Electrolyze and Sarkon, um, but I don't like having it with Orzhov Signet, so I'd rather pick something that goes with the Signet. Especially because I think Oblivion Ring is pretty on par with Electrolyze. And I, I definitely don't want to take Sarkon because he's double red. And electrolyzes two colors. Where or Oblivion Ring is one color. Gets rid of Planeswalkers. Jordan, what's going on, buddy? O-Ring was number three for you. But I'm number one for you. Oh, look. O-Ring number two. Or any of these other beautiful cards. Wow, this pack is great. Prismatic Lens, Moldrifter, Jace. Hmm... Hmm. Phoenix 20, what's going on, buddy? I did not get a chance to reply, but I did get your your email. Valley Man, first time catching you live. Thanks for all your great content. Thank you so much, Valley Man. Really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. I like Moldrifter a lot. Are we just going to be Esper? Oh, I like Esper. I like Moldrifter. I think it's Moldrifter. I can't take a banishing light over a mall drifter. I just can't do it. It's a, it's a, it's a it's a it's a thing that's ingrained in my soul. I really I like Pilgrim's Eye more than I should, I think. So when are the when are the next draft after this one? I hate to work when you start. Uh, the next one's gonna be right after this one. So Zaxor, if you're around, we can do your stipulation. 
this pack is not great. I think it just might be Pilgrim's Eye. I like Pil I like Pilgrim's Eye more. I think I said that. Um, it just fixes. And if we get a Resto, we can blink a Pilgrim's Eye. We can also blink a Mole Drifter. Ooh, Flicker Wisp. We can also Flicker Wisp a Pilgrim's Eye. If that does anything for this pack, is pretty bad, though. Why is Ruthless Ripper in this cube? That's such a weird inclusion. It's probably Flicker Wisp, especially with Muldrifter and Pilgrim's Eye. This is just a poor man's Restoration Angel, right? I like Palladium Mirror as well, but Flyers are pretty good in this format. Swag Gustenberg, what do you say? <laughs> what kind of... <laughs> Toyota? Funny joke. Is that what we're doing there? Is that what we're doing? Oh, my God. God. I'm going to take this Glacial Fortress. <laughs> oh, yeah. Glacial Fortress seems pretty good here. Cloud, looks, Cloud, Cloud Go Ranger seems good to flicker, but I'd rather just have the card that's good to just cast at any given point. Ooh. Day of Judgment cards are actually... Day of Judgment cards. Listen to, listen to how amateur I sound. Day of Judgment cards are actually quite good. Hmm. Wrath effects are pretty good in this cube. I'm going to take the Wrath effect. Do we not play black at all? Do we just go blue-white aggressive Chions? Hmm. Alright, you guys are real high on the Geist. What if we take this guy? Hmm. Hmm. I don't even know what Eye of Judgment is. Wow. Electrolyze came back. What if we just play Shrine of Loyal Legions? Let's just... Let's be the aggro blue-white deck. I want to do that. That's where I want to be in my life. The Banishing Light came back. Come on. I'll take Core Hook Master. That's a tapper, too. I'll tap all your things. I don't even care. Mm, funny joke. That is a late, late run. Ooh, Kithian's an aggressive gentleman. All right, what do we got here? Boros Signet. All right, all right. Gideon seems like the perfect aggressive uh, blue-white card. Put the Day of Judgment in the sideboard for now. I don't think we're killing our own guys. I'm going to take Gideon here. Uh, I like Angel of Sanctions might come back. I could see that happening. I could see that being a thing. I'm going to take the Gideon. Mind control. I like Brimaz, but we have a lot of three drops. I also think we have no reason not to be blue, especially with a Geist. And mind control is pretty strong, even if you're playing a, a more aggressive deck. How many hours do I plan streaming? The time zones are so many different. LOL, so I have to ask for hours. Um, four or five. A couple drafts. 
I will take Mold Drifter or uh, <laughs> Mind Control and put it right on the Mold Drifter. I if if the last pack is any indication, yeah, I can definitely see uh, Brimaz coming back. Big Brims, as we like to call him, Cat Daddy. He has many names. Want to know right now? What did it be? I don't want to wait. We're on that. Ooh, a Vincer. A cat. There's also a cast out. We have Banishing Light and Oblivion Ring already. I don't think we need a cast out. Uh, I would like a Vincer, though. Uh, I think our Acoustic Sun just left. I don't know where he went. I bet Revelark comes back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five cards are coming back here. I bet Revelark was one of them. Vencer is real strong, though. I'm liking the way this deck looks so far, though. We could also flicker a Vencer and bounce something. We could also mind control our own Vencer so that we have uh, twice as much Vencer. I don't think that's how that works, but maybe. I wonder if Dictative Heliod is good. Ooh. That's interesting. Can we get this mind control, this mana tide back? I wonder if we just go deep and play Dictative Heliod in our deck. Oh man, I'm so tempted, dude. I like Negate. I think Negate is probably the best pick in the card, or the pick, <laughs> pick in the pack, but I kind of want to try something different here. I'm going to take Dictate, and I'm going to go a little crazy here. I'm going to get a little wacky here. I like Windbrisk Heights, actually, but if we want more one, maybe we want more one drops here. Dictate is, a, is is basically two anthems in one, and it has flash. So you can be like, oh, no blocks? I'll kill you. It's basically overrun, right? It's like a toy overrun at instant speed. I wonder if that makes it really good. We'll find out. I'm going to take Soldier. Maybe it's Windbrisk Heights. I think it's actually Windbrisk Heights. But the, the problem is I don't want to take a turn off to play Windbrisk Heights. I'm just going to take Soldier. Supreme Will is probably fine. I don't want to have triple blue for Teferi. I also don't want a third five drop. This guy's probably not getting played ever. Condemn is good? Misty Rainforest is an island. It's not great. It's probably just Supreme Will. It lets us find a card. I mean, we have a lot of removal right now. We already have Mind Control, Oblivion Ring, and Banishing Light. And Gideon's Lawkeeper is removal if they don't have a way to deal with it. So I'm going to take the Supreme Will. It can stop things like Wrath of God. I feel like we just take Sky March or Aspirant here. I like Quarantine Field, but again, we're not really short on abilities like that. So I'm just going to take the Aspirant. I think the one-drops are important. Especially a lot of cheap one-drops, uh, one-drop one white cards to make Shrine better. Have you done a draft where you had to pick any card with with win in it? What do you mean? Like if it says win the game? Oh, I like this guy as a two drop. Yeah, I don't care about Dungeon Guys or Barrel. If Dungeon Guys comes back, that'd be cool, but it's not going to because there's going to be seven cards left in the pack. So. Phoenix, what are you asking me here? I didn't understand your question. Please specify. Wow, the Angel and the Journey came back. And the Boros Signet. That's really strange to me. Oh, so it literally just has the has the has to have the word win on the card. That's interesting. 
This pick is interesting. I don't care about Journey, but maybe I do? I think I'd just rather have the Angel. Yeah, I think the Angel's better, even though it is a 5-drop. Well, there's a Spear of Heliod. Is Delver of Secrets the pick? I don't think so. We have zero. I think we have literal zero instants or sorceries right now. Actual zero. I'm just going to take Spear. Or it could be Westvale Abbey. We'll take we'll take double spear. Yep, and there's the Revel Arc right on command. Power two or less though, we're kind of limited to just these guys. Like, nope. Geist of St. Traft and Pilgrim's Eye Inventor. Okay, that's actually all right, you sold me. Manatide. Wind brisk guides. And that's what it looks like when everything goes your way in a draft. Even though if, I don't even know if our deck is any good, to be quite honest with you right now. But It's definitely, it's definitely a thing. Power two or less is everything on the left. Yeah, you're not wrong. Also, Mold Drifter, so that's pretty good. Pretty sure we 100% play Mana Tithe here. Yeah, you're not, you're not making the cut, my friend. Probably going to need more than five cuts. We have a whole pack left, and we are at 22 cards already, so. I thought this was Mind Sculptor for a second. It was not. Hmm. This pack is not great for us, unfortunately. Is it just Linvala? Not a big Crystal Shard fan. I actually don't even know why this card's in here. This is a very weird card. Staff is okay, but like, costs six mana. Like, I don't really want another six mana card. Jace? It's probably just Jace. Yeah, it's probably just Jace. We're not heavy blue, but whatever. I kind of like Spirit of the Labyrinth, and I like Is It Signet, and I like Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage is not great for us, though. This is not a Snapcaster deck, which is unfortunate because I think this might be the first time in like 13 or so cube drafts that I've seen a Snapcaster Mage. We only have 13 creatures, though. I think it's actually just Spirit of the Labyrinth. Is this going to affect us? The only cards this affects is Muldrifter, right? Yeah, three power for two is pretty good. I think recruit, recruit is great, but I want two drops and not three drops. So I could also see Mind Stone being the pick, but this actually just turns off some things. Ooh, I like a Reflector Mage and a Saram's Expertise here. Saram's Expertise has to be the pick, right? Three dudes, and we get to play one of a million free cards. I don't think it's Path. I, I really don't. I think Path is great, but we have Banishing Light, Oblivion Ring, Mind Control, Mana Tide. Like, we have a ton of ways to deal with creatures. I think this is so much better for our deck, especially when we have double, double Anthems. I want that, but I'm probably just taking the out-of-car Wastes. I think it's got to be Wastes here. We also don't need more, uh, we don't need more top end either. So as much as I'd love an Archangel of, Th Archangel of Thune, I do not, I don't foresee us playing a uh, fourth five drop. Because Revel Arc is probably a five drop. I don't, I'm never going to play it on six, but we're already needing cuts. Um, probably Pilgrim's Eye. I don't foresee Pilgrim's Eye making the cut. Wow. Spell Queller, War Kite Marauder, Restoration Angel, and Ather Adept in the same pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three cards are coming back. I hope one of them does. I think it's actually Marauder here. Two. 
two on flyer seems very very good i like spell queller a lot but again like i want to have things to do on turn two so plus making any blocker they have irrelevant is really good like it's actually very very good if they have a 2-2 two -two and we have a war kite marauder and a geist of saint draft like being able to make their blocker in a one absolutely insane i just explained to you guys how it's not queller if you guys aren't going to listen to me then what's the point <laughs> i don't get it it's just temporal mastery I don't like Smuggler's Copter. I'm not a big Smuggler's Copter fan. Like, you guys are going to say Smuggler's Copter. I'm just, I like attacking with the creatures that I have more than... I don't think there's many other... Actually, let's, let's get a Sun Titan. Sun Titan, bring, Sun Titan brings back, like, every card in our deck right now. Oh, and a Fenza? Oh, that's real good. I'm going to take out the Orzhov Signet, unfortunately. Like, I'd just rather have more creatures at this point, and uh, it doesn't fix our blue. Ooh, Marsh Flats could be good. Sphinx's Revelation and Blade Splicer, though. It's probably just Blade Splicer, right? And Staff of Nin came back. It's pretty good. I'll just take Staff of Nin. Wow, Mindstone, Is it Signet, and Chromatic Lantern came back. It's a little weird. I don't understand that. That's really strange. That's extremely. We have to we have to cut one more card. And I don't know what it is, because I actually like everything else in the deck. We only have one card that doesn't work with Spirit, right? And it's Muldrifter. Nothing else says draw cards on it, right? Wow. Had a feeling about that, but nice to see it paid off. It might be Sky March or Aspirant. I don't know how frequently we're going to have 10 permanents. And the Bygone Bishop came back. Okay, well. well this is awkward. I can see cutting Mind Control and Venser just because they're double blue. And it makes our blue splash a lot easier. We could go mono white, but there's no real point to it when we have Geist of Saint Traft, Reflector Mage, Warkite, and and Moldrifter. I could see cutting these two, and I don't. Oh, for crying out loud! We are definitely the only blue drafter, the only blue white drafter. Wow. I need eight more packs to fill for a cast draft. Any ideas so far? I have... Oh, boy. This is a... Uh, that is a heck of a question to be asking right now. Yeah, I can see dropping Lawkeeper. And I can also see cutting, like, Worm Coil Engine. Oh, God. It feels so weird, though. Are we just still play 16 lands like this? Oh my god. This is an embarrassment of riches, no joke. Uh, so this is three. This is five sources of blue for 10, 11, 12, 13.
So this is 7 and 12. That's pretty good. This is the deck. This deck seems great. God, we have so many other cards to consider, too. Shrine of Loyal Allegiance. Let's see if we can do some work and we can make a bunch of dudes and then flash in a Dictative Heliod. That's where I want to live. <coughs> I don't want to wait for this draft to be over. Come on, Sammy, get your life together. I will play first. I will keep this hand. Look at all these beautiful islands. And by islands, I meant planes. This is the first aggressive blue-white I've drafted in this cube. Yes, definitely. Well, we are going to draw a one-drop. Also, Alan, don't forget we have um, Day of Judgment as well, which is pretty good for a control deck. We also have Mana Tithe. We can bring in, bring in the Mana Tithe. Uh, these are the Almond Plains. Thank you very much. Find three drop. It's unfortunate that we have to get rid of this guy. Nothing like losing on camera. <laughs> well, all right, let's slow down. I don't know if we're in a great position here. Oh, they're going to read those bones. Okay, that's enough lands. Ba boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. What does Banana Fenza do? Whenever you, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may bolster. And bolster means put a 1-1 one, one counter on the creature with the, the lowest toughness. So, Oh, I'm sad. What can we play here that's really good? What can we draw that's really good? Muldrifter? Oh my god! Well, that was weird. That was very strange. I believe if you'll check the timestamp, I said it before we drew it, which is extremely strange. Simulation confirmed. So, do I just need a matrix emote emoticon emote for the for the stream for the subscribers like a subscriber emote? Because it's real strange. Do I just drop Dictate here and deal five? I feel like they can't really do anything about that. 
pretty sure by the rules of GoFish, you get to ask again. <laughs> I think you're right. All right, can we get a Sun Titan? That's an, you're not a Sun Titan. I love that Bygone Bishop is a cast trigger because... Do we have City's Blessing yet? Oh, we just got it. Crack a clue. Ooh. Ooh. These are some big creatures, man. It's a DC, huh? Okay, okay. Here comes the old attack of Vampire Nighthawk. Wipe the board. I like that Bygone Bishop actually encourages you to uh, to play all the creatures in your hand because you get clues for them, so you're just it's, they're just can tripping anyway. So go ahead, throw all those guys out into the abyss. Oh god, oh god, shouldered, profane into shriek maw. Oh, that's a good one. That is a sad one. I am not thrilled with that. We still have a 5 4. F oh, we got a thing. Angel. 1000% angel. Send me an angel right now. What are these two clips you guys made? What can we play here that's really good? What can we draw that's really good? Moldrifter? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, Jordan, you guys both clipped at the same time. That's actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> I sent an angel once and I never got it. Did you send it? Uh, priority. So they're probably going to block here, but then they die. So they actually have to block flyer and ground guy. God, Geist of St. Traft is a 5-5 five, five hexproofer right now. Oh, that's that's obnoxious. So they didn't have the shield right. I'm not sure how we can win anymore. Everything's turning, everything's turning off. Well, you're just worse. Hmm. Well, I'd much rather you have... Oh my god, our... Our angel is... Our angel is a 7-7. Seven, seven. We could not attack here. Blink the Oblivion Ring, get rid of Shieldred. Let's do that. I hate that Geist of St. Traff doesn't trigger uh, Windburst Kites because the Angel is never attacking. Like, it's never, it's never, there's never a chance where you announce it as an attacker, so... Let's get this degenerate monster out of here. Brickbeard, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Oh, that's good for us because you get nothing. You get nothing. <laughs> yeah, you have to announce three attackers. Since you're only announcing Geist and Flicker Wisp and the angel just comes into play attacking... Uh, it's never being announced as an attacker.
Are you a ninjutsu? I'm so uncomfortable right now. They get a mole drifter back? What is even happening? Darkwing Duck, I'm a big fan of your name. If we can get an Oblivion Ring, I actually feel like we're okay because we can get rid of this guy. And then swing for a million. Oh my god. It's fashionably late to the party. So if we attack with everything, they go block, block, block. But we get to keep a flyer here. I am an embarrassment. <laughs> Man, I felt like we were doing real good in this game. Well, to be fair, we've drawn a lot of lands. We might actually cut a land. This is a lot of lands. Nine lands out of 20 cards. <sighs> Why doesn't Hexproof count uh, Death Touch? Block, block, we get a 4-4, four, 7-7. Four, seven, seven. I'm going to pass here. I don't see attacking as giving us any great sort of benefit. What did they exile? Another swamp? Okay. This is pretty good, though. I mean, even this guy making two four fours is pretty insane, right? Like, if we can get a white spell, play it, pop this for two four fours, then pop Angel to kill a blocker, I think we're actually in good shape. It just feels weird. All right. Oh my god, how many Shriek Maws have you cast? How did this guy get back in your hand, by the way? Oh, Ink Eyes. Ooh, that's very good. I'm a fan of that. Should have known that. I totally forgot. White Spell. That's a, it's a land. All right. Boy, this Geist of St. Traft is really doing some... Doing some hard work here. So is this Azor's Gateway. So is this Shriekma. I think Shriekma's killed about four creatures so far. Wow, Ink Guy's on Moldrifter. What a time to be alive. Their deck is actually great. It's interesting that you do that now. All right, so you have four different card mana costs. Liliana. All right, no targets. Seems good. You can get back Ink Eyes, attack with Shriek Maw. You are one mana shy of casting Ink Eyes, though. Okay. Really need a white spell here. Definitely cutting a land and probably uh It's 
It's okay, guys. Only 11 lands out of eight out of 22 cards. It's okay. It's normal. It's a normal amount of lands. 50% is where you want to be in a 1723 deck. I don't know if Shrine still does give us inevitability. They're easily going to get Ink Eyes back here, I would imagine. Oh, they're going to XL. The final card to flip Azor's Gateway. They're going to gain 5, go to 12. Wrath did not make it in. This is definitely not a Wrath deck. But we might bring it in. We might also bring in Mind Control. So we can steal their... Shriek? Not Shriek Maw, Shieldred. Sure, we did put three spells on the bottom. I mean, you're not wrong, but... Solemn Simulacrum. All right, no flips. Puppeteer Click. You can get Flicker Wisp. You can blink Oblivion Ring. This all feels very, very bad. Good choice. Solid strategy. Not dead yet, though. Okay, that's all you're going to do? All right, I'm okay with that. Actually, this comes back in end of turn, so we can actually still kill the Muldrifter, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm well hydrated. We're we're getting our drink on. Oh, they killed our own flicker wisp. That's actually great because now we can get it back. Flicker wisp brings back the things. Actually, do I want you to get this back with a puppeteer click? I don't know, but I still feel like it's probably better than you having it on the board. We can pop this, get rid of your f your puppeteer click. These guys are four fours, right? So we can actually get rid of your Nighthawk, but then we get you get a Muldrifter back. That seems pretty bad. And only one of these guys has flying anyway, so we'd have to actually draw, like, Banishing Light. Banishing Light puts us in a winning position, though. Actually, no, because they could block Geist. I think we can wait a turn. Alright, I think that's I think that's good. <clears throat> What a Fallen 323? Three, I'm just going to call you Falling. Right now. Send me. Oh, they flipped it. What did they get? Devour Flesh? Sure. Add 12. Seems good. Glad that Profane Command is in the graveyard. Oh, boy. Well, that guy doesn't have haste, so that's good.
This is so much mana, dude. What is going on? Black Sun Zenith for everything? Black Sun Zenith for six? That would be sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, infinite lands. Okay. <clears throat> Can we ping Gristle Daddy? Oh, uh, I don't think we have a way to do that. Soldier can come out. Sky March. I want to take out that mediocre creatures. And bring in better cards. Supreme Will, Mind Control. And we have 17 lands. 17 lands is more than fine. I'm trying to I'm trying to find a place for Day of Judgment. I could probably take out Geist. I don't actually like Geist when they have Gifted Aetherborn and Vampire Nighthawk. I'm also not a big Anafenza fan anymore or Spirit of the Labyrinth. I'd rather just have the the stones. Pilgrim's Eye trades with Gristle Brand. Oh my god. I wanted to cut a land up until the point I was boarding in more expensive control type cards. Forty-two cards. Probably actually dictate and spear can come out now. I think. This is twelve creatures. Expertise and Gideon are kind of like fourteen. This is fifteen creatures. I'm gonna bring warm coil and just go forty-one. I think. We'll keep this hand. Might as well just run this out there on turn one. Dead Sights. <laughs> An all too common mistake. Give me another blue source. Oh boy, you're so good to me sometimes. Sometimes you're terrible to me, but sometimes you're really good to me. I like a white mana because that means no gifted Aetherborn. That is fine. We got a Jace Bellerin. That an Oblivion Ring. Can you guys hear Hunter in the background? He sees he sees a friend outside. I feel like I am the top deck whisperer. It's really awkward sometimes. I like that we can Blade Splicer our own Sun Titan. Wait, that doesn't... We can Day of Judgment our own Blade Splicer and get it back with Sun Titan. I'm a huge fan from Italy at the moment and Scotland for my exchange here abroad. Good luck with this queue and queue. I'm trying to, I'm trying to parse your name so I know how to say it. <laughs> Funny joke. <laughs> can I say Germano? Is that correct? I don't want to say it incorrectly. But also, thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. It's so... It's actually... I don't think you ever get used to, like... 
realizing that people are watching in like Australia and Italy and Scotland, like that's super, that's such a, such a crazy thing, right? Because I'm like right on the cusp of technology. I would assume it's not your real name, but it's what I got to go by. Um, I'm on the cusp of technology. So like I grew up with a landline phone in my house, but then as I was going through high school or middle school, you know, like the internet started to emerge, you know? So it was funny because I'm, I'm right in the middle of like both generations. Secret alien. Are you in Norway? What a time to be alive. Oh, that's real sad. Oh, they brought the disenchant in for our, our, our big, our big bigs. I'm just going to draw a card here and we're going to sun tighten next turn and get back a Jace. Why, why can't I play anything? I guess we could just Oblivion Ring this, but I don't think I care about this. I feel like we have so much, so many answers to everything else that we can just get rid of this. What's landline mean? Oh my god. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's not wonderful. But this Sun Titan is wonderful. Send me a titan, oh, right now. I will use that ability. I will draw a card as well. This is a lot of lands. We're still drawing a lot of lands. I don't know if you guys knew this. Back in my day, I had a landline. Using the internet meant you couldn't use the phone. Yeah, you got to choose. Now I use the internet on my phone. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Wow. They have six cards in hand. They have the same amount of cards as we do. But we have a Sun Titan and a Jace, I guess. So they have to use two cards to compete with these two cards. So they're actually... We're up two cards. I wish we had a way to get our Sun Titan back. Oh, no. I guess that's actually fine. What do you take? What does intimidate mean? Intimidate's like fear, but except shared colors, right? Reflector Mage, huh? I hope I draw a cheap guy so that I can play Bygone Bishop and the Cheap Guy. That's the name of my buddy cop show, Bygone Bishop and the Cheap Guy. That's actually all right. The audio on a lot of the memes is a little out of sync for some reason. It makes me real sad. I has a sad. Let's go for Lily. Let's get Blade Splicer back. Oh, that's old bygone bishop and the cheap guy. So if they have... I don't think we actually play bygone bishop here because if they have black sun zenith, they actually just go negative on this guy, black sun zenith. Oh, they actually can't do that. So we can play bygone bishop here. Because they'll have four mana, so they can go negative four, negative four, and sometimes we have four, five, so that's pretty good. I can't tell you who the cheap guy is because we're undercover right now. So you guys just have to wait till the next season. Oh my god. Oh my god. So good. Get a clue. Spell quell your thing. Oh, heavy breathing. The heaviest of breathings. Don't have Path to Exile. <laughs> Okay, okay, you did it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We get to kill Lily here, I believe. 
Oh my god, this Jace is working overtime. Look in my eyes. What do you see? All right, so Liliana, Liliana, your face, your face, your face. Would you like to use this ability? Okay, if you insist. I'll draw three cards with Jace. Yeah, I don't think they have Condemn. Otherwise, they would have used it previously. My three mana Planeswalker... Man, remember back when look, this is a this is an old three mana planeswalker. They don't mess around. Well, they didn't then. They do now. They mess around a little bit now. Mom's in the very home short and short and mom's in the very home short and bread. Yeah, Venser is pretty safe. Wow, these matches, game one and game two, have looked totally different. Here comes Black. Profane for three, killing Spell Queller, getting back that guy. Hmm. It's actually very good. See, Damnation. I could Venser the Profane. I'd rather just Venser the Spell Queller. Does that work? Then they go to play damnation. We can counter the damnation. Does that work? Let's see if that works. Hold on, let me think about this. I bounce this. This go this comes back. They try to play damnation. We re-counter damnation. Yeah, I guess we can just venture the profane. It does tap them out. They are tapped out. I'm sorry, that was that was probably bad form. Yeah, I, that was stupid. I'm trying to think of like the best way to do it, and um, we can just counter the, we can just venture the profane. That was, that was stupid. Now I feel bad. How many creatures actually trigger Bygone Bishop now? One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, these two do as well. So six. It's a good amount. It's a 2-3 flyer. I think we bring in Mana Tithe for the Bygone Bishop now. It actually seems pretty good. Uh, we're not playing Geist because Geist is terrible against our deck. They have they have both Gifted Aetherborn and they have Vampire Nighthawk. Geist is terrible. Geist does not seem pretty good at all. It's interesting that we're both playing a day of judgment effect. Like it can't be good it can't be good for both of us, right? I do kind of like Anafenza here, but I don't know what I'd take out. I like Signet, I like Mindstone. Oh, I don't foresee myself playing any more Pro Tours. Like I just don't enjoy competitive magic that much. I like just having fun and streaming and hanging out with you guys and playing cubes. Like that's more fun to me. I don't think Revelark is any good anymore. I guess Blade Splicer, Bygone Bishop, Reflector Mage, Spell Queller. Spell Queller, obviously not that great. Work Height Marauder, and that's pretty much it. So, and Venser. So five cards we can get back with a with a Revelark. Is there anything we're missing that's really good in the sideboard? Maybe like Mana Tithe I can see coming in for like Spirit because we are drawing a bunch of cards. I kind of like Mana Tithe. We're going to try to get them. I will keep this hand. All right, that's enough. Give me a two drop. If I accidentally qualified one, I'd go, but it's not a goal of mine, so I have no plans to do it. Oh, that was such a good draw.
That was an insane draw. Ally or Saram's expertise? Wow. And by ally, I mean Gideon. I think we're just playing Gideon and then Angeling of, Angeling of Sanctionsing. Like, I think it's you attack once, but that's fine. Look in my eyes. What do you see? Cult of personality. No blocks, because it's a Gideon, and I can't, I don't have a floater. I feel like if you've if you've already heard it, it's too late. If you've already heard the Unliving Kala, it is too late. If we can draw a Jace Bellerin, that'd be sick. We can go Sram's Expertise into Jace Bellerin. That's where I want to be. But right now, we're just going to Angel of Sanctions the Vampire Nighthawk again. Actually, maybe we just get her Shriek Maw? If we get rid of Shriek Maw and then they get it back, it's just so bad, right? How does Gideon not die here to a stupid Shriek Maw? That's really sad. Could play. I've heard you talk about Hearthstone a fair amount. Do you ever stream? I don't stream Hearthstone much. I will probably be streaming it some this week though, just because the new set comes out. So I am looking forward to that. Servo tokens do block, but at that point we just die to Vampire Nighthawk anyway. So. Oh god, don't say quaff. That's terrible. That's like the worst hair word ever. <sighs> so we can't block both the Shriek Maw and the Vampire Nighthawk. That is the consensus here. Oh, blocking with the Signet, that's OP actually. I'm a fan of that. We're going to play Angel here because next turn we can go Srams into Glory. And um, still keep up Supreme Will. So, I mean, we're going to lose a Gideon, but... I'm gonna let you get that guy. I don't even care. Plus, we got a. It's it is coif. It's not quaff. I don't know why I was like quaff. That doesn't sound right. I think that's why it rang so bad for me. Uh, yeah, Gideon be dead. Gideon Be Dead is also the name of my uh, Planeswalker Pest Control service. Just in case you guys didn't know. I will be playing at least one draft after this Axor, so. You know. I don't know if that... Uh, it, depends on, it depends on life, you know. 
Yeah, alright. Seems fine. Oh, boy. Look, this is why Geist of St. Traft is terrible. <gasps> Ooh! Well, that's three lands we're not going to draw. That's pretty nice. That was, like, meant to be. This is where they go um, Black Sun Zenith for one, though, so. And then we just regret everything. Everything feels bad after that. Oh, really? That's sad. Why gotta be like that? If we can draw Day of Judgment, that'd be great. We can go attack with everyone. Jace Beller and Day of Judgment. That sounds pretty good. It's a lot of... Seems good. Day of Judgment, one time. We get two cards. Two two draws. Two draws. Sun Titan would also be okay, I guess. Mana Tide is probably not what we're looking for here. But these guys are pretty useless, so we're just going to attack into Liliana here. I really need some Day of Judgment effects. That is correct. Pessimistic Pingu, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Saltai Brood. Really appreciate it. That is the best. Cast. Funny joke. I mean, technically we can still Day of Judgment next turn. We just lose slowly. We just lose a J. Yep, this game is not going as planned. I think Glory Bound an issue is probably... Uh, really, no attacks with anything else? I don't have haste, guys. And that's the end. All right. We had a good run. Seven spells, nine lands. Good times. Funny joke. And the like, like that, we had a game, I guess. I mean, we still have to deal with Oleana in like two turns, but. Oh, we also put three lands on the bottom with Windburst Kites. That is correct. Good lord. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 12 lands. There's only five lands left in the next 20 cards. That's pretty okay. I mean, might as well do it now. You got spells to... No? All right. I mean, we're definitely looking for something because we have to deal with Liliana here. Uh, Panishing Light is what we want. Mind Control is also what we want, though. Oh, God. They're just going to have Disenchant, right? There's another one. All right, so four lands left in the deck. Four lands in the next seven cards or so.
This is also the one where if they have disenchant, which they do, they don't actually, it doesn't even leave the battlefield. Fantastic. Well, they run disenchant because they actually played it last game. So that is unfortunate. If it was Oblivion Ring, it would leave the battlefield at least, and they would have to restart, but nope. They're playing Disenchant because they saw both Spear of Heliod, Oblivion Ring, and Dictate of Heliod in uh, game one. So, I mean, it I, makes total sense for them to put a Disenchant in the deck. They also saw Blade Splicer token, so it's like, I mean, they saw at least four targets. Six, seventy nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. Three lands left in the next thirteen cards. Alright. Actually, they're just gonna ultimate Liliana, so that's game. Alright, cool. Black Sun and Disfigure, cool. Good to know. Oh, alright. Mole Drifter, yay. No, Disenchant is amazing in formats like Cube. Like All right, let's try this again. Keep this hand. Think of all the lands you could have drawn with that Mole Drifter. Ain't that the truth? The Kung Fu, good games, man. Those were actually good games. Um, I feel like I got a little flooded, but good games nonetheless. Like, definitely, I think games one and three, I definitely got flooded a bunch, so... Um, doesn't change the fact that they were back and forth. There was a lot of interaction, so... Yeah, definitely good games, man. That's actually that's actually why I go to 41 cards sometimes in limited because I want to have at least one spell in my deck to my 40 lands. So usually that helps a lot. Cuz if you're able to draw that one spell, you're in real good shape, I think. I can see disenchant being main deck in the queue, but I can't see it being main board because that doesn't exist. So um, similar but different, you know? I just tell everyone I, I might be. I'm just like, maybe? That was actually a great draw. Oh, an, oh, an offense. I'm gonna play a guy so saint trapped who we bolster in onto probably an offense. I like when people ask me where Mike is. It's like. It's like if I'm like, hey, man, where's your mom at today? You don't know. You don't keep track of them. I have no idea where Mike is. Um... I'm really afraid of, like, a slag storm or something. So we're, we are just going to play Spear. Actually, it might be Shrine here. Yeah, I don't want to be walking into no board wipes. Uh, you're only going to bolster once with, with Blade Splicer. It's non-token creatures. They do take 9, though. They take 12 with a spear, which is actually pretty good. I like that better, because if next turn, if we draw a land for uh, for any reason, we can play Loyal Legion and Blade Splicer, which is pretty good. We also can't trigger this with uh, Geist and Anafenza. That's not that's not how Windbrisk Heights works because you're not announcing three attackers. All right, they're up to six lands. Here comes a Grave Titan. 
Brave Titan. I think that would kill them, so they can't do that. Inferno Titan? Yep, that's what we were, that's what we were assuming was going to happen, so... Kind of like Shrine Warkite Marauder. Blade Splicer does put lethal on the board, but they have four cards, so I'm going to assume. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wow, now a now blue land too? What is this? Four color Grixis? Grixis Mardu just guy? Oh, here we go. Play this guy, kill this guy, make dude. Everything's everything's going wrong. This is what happens. We can get our opponent to five, and then because we're relying on attacking, we just never get to never get to do anything. Wow, chain to the rocks, really? What is even happening right now? Give me a land so I can mold drifter one time. That seems good. We can also put another counter on this. I think we'd just rather mold drifter, right? That's a flyer. Oh, reflector mage seems good. Do 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 do. It doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes better in life with Monastery Mentor. Why? We can get to you with the interesting goal. Mentor's fresh and full of life. Oh, that's a good one. That's a paddling. You're not going to kill anything. You're going to attack for a lot, but... We take nine, and we put you to one... Can't kill Chandra here, unfortunately. Um, block this guy. That is a three-three fish. Easy, easy game, easy life. Dictate of Heliod one time. It's basically the same thing, right? Fresh goes better with the Is there any way we can deal you one damage? Probably not. It's probably just worth taking your Chandra down a notch. Reflector Maging Monastery Mentor. I mean, it's not extending into Chandra if we actually attack the Chandra down to... Oh, not only might it matter, it's what the it's what we're doing. It's the correct play. Oh, it's actually whenever an opponent casts a multicolor spell, so it, actually that doesn't work like that. We can put them to one. Is there any benefit to putting them to one? <sighs> like we can go mage soldier, put four or five counters on this. I'm going to go face here. And I think we just Reflector Mage the Mentor, but then they, like, then they just wipe the board for negative four. And I guess we could crack this for three tokens, three two twos, and every one of them is lethal. I wish Shrine was two to crack instead of three. This is surprisingly difficult. I 
I don't know what to do. I need help. I need an adult. Yeah, we're just going face. Alright. Face it up. Face the music. We could also just bounce the monk. No, we don't want them to make more blockers is really the thing, so... What up, Connor Ryan? Good seeing you, buddy. Yeah, now we're just leaving Shrine up. All right. You have to deal with Muldrifter, so you could neg three. Oh, we're just discarding the hand, huh? Monastery Mentor, Chromatic Lantern, Dreadbore. And Isolated Chapel. Okay. Isolated Chappy. This is just removal then. <laughs> but they drew a card for an extra card from Chandra, so. Oh, that's a dude. Well, that is a thing. Why are we not blading splice into more lethal bodies? Because uh, I'd rather them negative four Chandra. And it doesn't, because I want to get Monastery Mentor off the board so they can't make a million guys. And so they can't play Dreadbore, kill Muldrifter, make another blocker. Because Monastery Mentor presents more blockers than than Blade Splicer presents attackers. That will do. All right. Woo. Woo. I feel like I definitely want to bring in the control stuff again because they have a lot of planeswalkers and things. Also, it seems like they're going wide. I'm going to take out... S Spirit seems good against them, actually. Soldier, Aspirant, Kithion, Anafenza. Bring you in, bring you in, bring you in, bring you in. Bring you in. I almost like Staff of Nin here, too. This is 45 cards? God, what did we take out last time? Geist sucks. Bygone Bishop was not great. Dictate was coming out. Spear was coming out. And this is actually a fine 41, I think. So I was pretty close to unconscious when I sent that decklist email. Did it get to you? There's a better than 50% chance I typed something wrong. It definitely did get to me. Yes, I definitely have your pirates list. So no worries there. And it looks really sweet, by the way. So we will be playing that this week sometime. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. It's not very quick, but... Oh, we probably should have added more, more islands. All right, well, that's a thing, I guess. Josh, thank you, man. Appreciate the opportunity. Well, that's good. That's a good card. All right. Islands, where are you at? We just boarded in like three double blue cards. Of course we need islands. We're going to draw Jace Bellerin right now. All right, that was an angel. Actually going to get rid of Coalition Relic here because that thing is... That thing does all kinds of good things for you. The smells from camping laundry could either be really good or really bad. Ooh. Lava Claw reaches, huh? Let's draw one card that we can favorably play with this guy. Nope. Okay. A Jace Bellerin would have been great here. Alright, we're actually. Did they miss a land drop? No. I'm still gonna Saram's expertise here and get rid of your Orzov signet. Keep you off all the double whites and double blacks that you may have, which is damnation. I 
I don't think we have disenchant. <laughs> I don't know why you just assume we have disenchant. We have no disenchant in our deck. God, we're the guy that destroys all the mana. Oh, two matches in a row playing Azor's Gateway. That's interesting. Let's draw another land so we can Angel of Sanctions that, and then we'll just get rid of everything they have. I mean, you should still bring it in. That's a good point. That's a good point. I, I didn't think about that. Blue mana. Not, not a blue mana, surprisingly. What? That's just rude. I'm actually okay with the Kolagon's command getting rid of two Serbos. That's actually just fine. Oh, that would have been a better Kolagon's Command target, I believe. But what do I know? Oh my god, exiling Jace the Mind Sculptor with an Azor's Gateway. That should never happen. I think we did actually board out all our blue sources, so... A Chroma's Vengeance? That's not a... I was just zero. Oh no, or not zero, negative one, just to get rid of this guy and leave Chandra unaffected. Give me a land, one one land that isn't wind brisk heights. That's all I want. Guess I was asking for too much. My bad. Are we dead if we attack? Activate, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go to one. I don't actually think we have the luxury of attacking here. Yeah, if they played a land, we would have been dead. So, that seems not worth getting Chandra down to one. All right, we're just going to go to the next game. We can't beat an onboard Chandra when we hit no lands. Okay. I also kind of want to bring in Mana, Leap, Mana Tithe. <laughs> Is that wrong? I think I got Glorybound Initiate. I think Glorybound Initiate's not good in this deck. I don't... I mean, like, post-transformation, anyway. Alright, so this is a hand. Now we're talking.
search for Azkanta. Oh, that was a good. That's a good top deck. Is there a certain color you're most excited for about in Dominaria so far? There is no color specifically, but I am. I will admit I'm very, very excited about that site. That set in general, it looks very, very fun. Here comes Colagon's command. Oh, Liliana. A creature you never really want to mind control because of the fact that it will just disappear. They will just get a Planeswalker and it will be the saddest day ever. Next time we can go Signet into a 5-drop. That seems okay. All right, let's see this guy you posted. Torgar Famine Incarnate. 8 mana. I'll just open it over here. Shrink this bad boy down. As an additional cost... What did they do? Play Solemn Simulacrum? Okay. As an initial cost to cast this spell, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. This spell costs 2 less to cast for each creature sacrificed this way. Isn't there an ability like that? When Torgar, Feminine Incarnate, enters the battlefield, up to one target player's life total becomes half their starting life total rounded down. So, so, you're li so someone's life total just becomes 10? So this is just Alex Straza, right? This is just a magic version of Alex Straza. Magic Straza is what we're going to call this. The Hearthstone card. Not land. Okay. Send me an angel right now. A 6-7 for 2, right, but at the point it's a 7-6 a seven, for 2. But at the point it's a 7-6 for 2, you've sacrificed, what, 3 creatures? So you're 3 for 1-ing yourself to make a 7-6 for 2? I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. That's a dude. That's a dude I'm going to mind control. I hope you don't mind. They can't kill Angel of Sanctions, which is nice. Yeah, all right. Kill those two guys. Sure. We're actually one mana short of mind controlling and keeping up Venser as well. Yo, I could have this guy. We will likely be cracking our Mind Stone here. Why is Cone of Flame in the modern cube? Just because it's modern, just because it's legal in the modern format? That's super weird, right? Colossal Dreadmaw is legal in the modern format. Why don't you put that guy in this format? Yeah, we're gonna crack old, old, old M Stone. Are you gonna do a thing? Are you gonna kill your own Inferno Titan? It's murder. I'm going to pop this just in case there's a... Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, okay, sure. We're going to pop this in case there's a mana tithe on top. There's a glacial fortress. They still have two guys. We can Oblivion Ring Venser and just win here, I think. So that should be good.
pow. Magic's a good game. Good games. Got him. All right. So we're we're doing well. Is there anything we want to change in our deck? I don't know. I don't think so. I kind of like Gideon's Lawkeeper, I'll be honest. I think it's actually very good. And I think it's actually fine to play that as a 41th card. I also see cutting a Plains for a 1-drop. I'm definitely in with that. Six, seven. Sure. Oh, this hand is gasoline. I'm actually, I think we just go turn one Windbrisk Heights, turn two Anafenza, turn three, we play two guys. Maybe. Or maybe we just play Aspirant out on turn one because I guess we'll see what we draw. Yeah, now we're definitely doing that. Because next time we can go Anafenza into both of these guys, so... I just hope the balance of female characters is higher than male characters again. Otherwise, as a nerdy white male, how can I identify with the game? Uh, I hope that's in support of more female characters in the game and not the opposite. Are you going to kill my Sky March Raspberry? I would appreciate if you did not do that. Yeah, I feel like dealing 10 damage is not that much out of the question for uh, for this guy. Because it costs 8 mana, right? And in order to cast it for cheaper, you have to sacrifice multiple guys. Like, it's still a two-turn clock. Oh, interesting. God, don't be a third deck to have Damnation. We've literally played against two Damnation decks so far. Urgh! Erg. Erg Raiders. Well, we're not attacking here for obvious reasons. Man, Drana OP. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna black sun zenith for two here, and it's gonna be the most blowouty thing you've ever seen. Look at all these look at all these Liberators and Lilianas. Liberators and Lilianas is also the name of my indie folk band, just so you guys know. We're a chamber pop group. Um Sram's expertise. Eh, it's probably spear, right? Gideon's great, but I think it's actually spear here. Yeah, if you guys don't know Chamber Pop, you should check it out. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Like the Decemberists, uh, the Nationalist Chamber Poppy. Yeah, the mid-combat spear is what we're looking for here. I think you should trade here. 
that's just my opinion. Oh, no trade, huh? Okay. Oof. Oh, gross. Oh, I'm going to vomit. Blue mana, please. One time blue mana. Oh, dear God. We kill here. Oh, my God. That is disgusting. Wow, they killed the Gideons. The, the card we, we changed our deck to incorporate is the card they killed. That's amazing. Blue mana. That is not blue mana. Do you know how blue mana works, Magic the Gathering? This would be lethal if this was a Dictative Heliod. Just keep that in mind. Oh, they changed their mind. Oh! Huh. I mustn't. Send me an angel. No, no. Yeah, we can kill Drano with Spear, which is super nice. It could probably call Drana as well. I imagine they're I imagine they have each other's number numbers. They could text each other. No blocks, huh? All right, well. You're not going to like this. The fact that you can cast cards under Windburst Kites whenever is so ridiculous. Hello, Drana. Spear here. Yes, this is Spear. Uh, and the difference is Liberators and Liliana's is Chamber Pop, and Inoffensa and the White Weenies is a Ska Band. So it's kind of like they're not really comparable, I think. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Also, all of our guys are out of sword range, which is great. I'm so glad that all these years of gender equality and magic characters are a little flexible. <laughs> can't tell. Now I can't tell if you're being serious, dead man. I haven't heard the new, the latest Decemberist album. I'm I'm an old school Decemberist fan, where uh, Picaresque and um, the album after Picaresque are probably my favorites. I forgot what Decemberist discography. It wasn't the Crane Wife. I want to find out. Oh, it might have been. It might have been the Crane Wife. Crane Wife is good. The problem is if we kill Drana, Liliana flips. So we have no reason to kill Drana. We can actually kill Liliana. Before she gains any life. Oh, she hasn't dealt damage yet, so never mind. We can't do that. What is my favorite book? Oh, that's a good question. Well, we have no reason to kill either of these creatures now. You got it. It's a lot of things you're doing here.
Hypnotic Schmechter. Okay, you got it. Dang it. So close, yet so far. I feel like we just... <laughs> Wait. I like that you asked if you could... Why didn't we destroy before combat? Because I'm wondering what you even think that card did. Well, we take six now. Turn line on your creature to green. Play this card. The card, sure. It's pretty unbelievable. Yep, stuck with two blue cards and a Sun Titan in hand. Seems good. All right, so this I don't think this white deck has been very good at all. Uh, by, by, by white deck, I mean aggressive deck. I think our non-aggressive deck is significantly better, especially because this is like a field of two twos. All right, is this everything we board in normally? I think Bygone Bishop also came out for like Mana Tithe, which seems pretty good. Oh, uh, we were 100% dead. They just copy their sword, they put the sword on their thing, and it's a 6-6, six, six. we take six, two, two, two triggers with two damage each. So we're, we take 10, we're at eight. We were 100% dead there, yes. Oh, we also take Dictate and Spear out. Mono White needs a token that Anthem's Blue is more tempo. Yeah, I... But what did we what did we have in here other than those cards, I wonder? Now I'm... Now I'm curious. Do we have anything that kills artifacts? Not really. The copy not have been legendary? Swords aren't legendary to begin with. All right, we need one more card. I don't know what it is. It might just be nothing. I think it'd just be nothing. All right. I will play first. Sand is very, it's actually medium because of the double blue spells. I guess we'll mulligan our really good hand. I just said it was medium. I don't get it either. I'm actually going to keep that.
We do need one more land. I guess two more land. I do feel like the sword should probably be legendary. There's no reason why they shouldn't be, right? Like, that's problematic. We do have Banishing Light and the other one. And we can wipe up the tokens with the Day of Judgment if we need to, but... I don't foresee us doing incredibly well against a Bitter Blossom. Especially, our Gideon is not going to hold up to a Bitter Blossom. Like, it feels weird that you can have a whole army equipped with swords of fire and ice, right? That seems strange. Has this been this has been three black base decks in a row, right? Oh boy, that guy's problematic as well. You don't even want a reflector mage, that guy. Yeah, I don't feel good about these games. I think we might be... This might be a 1-2, boys. It's weird because it shows that even if you get all the cards... Like, we got every white card that we wanted when we were drafting. And I think it shows that even if you get all the cards that you... You can, you get all the cards that are great for your deck, you still... The deck might just not be good enough. Eh, Forked Bolt. To the surprise of no one. Yep. God. So I want to exile this, I want to exile this, and I want to exile this. I think it has to be sword here. Really wish that Oblivion Ring was not stuck under a Windbrisk Heights when we have... There's Day of Judgment here? Doesn't make any sense, right? If we hit a land, we can play Reflector Mage next turn and... No, because then this guy just comes back and then they just equip it. That seems terrible. I've gone 0-2. I've gone... I've lost two drafts without winning a match. I think we went 1-5 in, in double black-white draft decks. I don't, I don't just think white-black is the best. But, I mean, maybe that's just me. I just have not had the experience to bear that out, so. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh my god. Yeah, this is not great. So we damn we do have judgment, they bring back both these guys. This guy just copies this guy again.
Oof. And then we actually just take six from this, and then we just die to them. So it's actually not an option. Well done. Yeah, I don't even know why people think like that. It's very awkward that people have those kind of thoughts and like you formulate these kind of thoughts in your head and like then you express them to other people. That's very strange to me. I'm gonna scoop here. We uh don't see don't see us coming out of this one. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.